What's up guys? Okay, so this is going to be the first video that I'm going to be doing as far as weapon, tutorial, guide, whatever the heck you want to call it. Either way, let's get this started. I'm going to start off with some of the Ranger weapons. Uh, the weapon I'm going to be starting off with right now is the P-78 Bound Gun. It's a level 3 uh, special weapon. Rangers can equip two weapons. You get this in normal mode. Uh, I believe the stage that I got this in was stage 15 or 14. One of the two, something like that. As you can see, it's got a capacity of 120, a rate of fire of 12 per second, damage of 12, a reload time of 1.5, a range of 220 meters, and an accuracy rating of B. Now, the thing that sets this apart from some of the other assault rifles is the fact that the bullets can actually ricochet off of walls, continuing their path, and, well, they can cause some pretty good chaos. We're gonna go ahead and try this weapon out. I'm just gonna go ahead and, I don't know, let's, uh... Let's select, uh, yeah, the underground cave. I'll show you a place where this will actually come in more in handy. Turn on your helmet lights. Okay. So now that we're here, give you a good test of the weapon. As you can see, the weapons are bouncing all over the place. Now, you do have to be worried about friendly fire when it comes to this weapon. But, with the actual mode we're on, you don't have to worry too bad about that, because I'm on normal. No big deal. Alright, so, we're going to go ahead and get to these ants. It does decent damage, all things considered. It's, you know, comparable to the starting assault rifle. The thing that makes this weapon really interesting is when you get close quarters with it. In, like, this type of a stage, where you're underground. As you can shoot this thing, well, straight down a tunnel, and it'll destroy everything in the tunnel. Just as long as you can get the right angle. Should be up ahead. Let's go. As you can see, I took yes, out those enemies from around the corner pretty okay. easily. Something to take note of, though, it does not bounce off of corpses. So, you gotta go for walls if you want to go for that. Depth crawlers can light up the area for you. Air Raiders, call for depth crawlers to support the assault unit. Alright, so let's continue on. I brought the uh, Stingray ST just as a backup. I don't think I'm gonna need it, though. Go ahead and show off, show off the reflex, show off the ricochet. It's a, it, it's a pretty self-explanatory weapon. But for some weapons, I felt like I should put up in a little guide just to show them. In terms of circumstances, you might want to use them. Epilepsy warning for the this thing in the dark, though. It still functions just fine as in terms of an assault rifle for head-on shots. But any ones that you miss will bounce around and cause damage to everything else. So, it's good to keep in mind. Some of the more powerful bound guns I'm actually a pretty big fan of. Just because of the added functionality for the bouncing. It survived! After all that? So, let's continue with this mission. Shouldn't take too much longer. Got another wave of ants and another wave of spiders to go through, and that'll do it. But if there's anything else as far as specific weaponry that you guys would like me to cover, let me know, and I'll go ahead and make some videos for them. Primarily, I'm going to be covering, you know, some of the higher artillery weapons, along with some of the special weapons. A lot of the assault rifles are pretty self-explanatory, so I don't feel like I need to actually make anything on those. So, for now, I'll just do kind of the interesting weapons. And, considering the bound weapon is one of the first weapons you guys are going to unlock, I felt like it would be most important to showcase it. I think the last one's over inside the tunnel over here. That's fine. You guys are shooting the wrong thing. 
12. Send support. Save us. Save me. I'm trapped in thread. Show what you've been through. A number of yeah. giant insects is more than we could imagine. Yeah. You can do some pretty ridiculous things with this weapon. As you can see, I'm basically filling this entire tunnel with bullets. And with a high mobility enemy like the spiders, it can be interesting filling an entire tunnel. Now, as far as downsides for the weapon, it does have a relatively low rate of fire in comparison to some of the assault rifles. I know that one of the first assault rifles you'll unlock, it's like the AF uh, AR, I believe it is. That one's got a rate of fire of, well, I think it's 30. A 30 rate of fire. It only does 6 damage, though. That's half the damage of the, uh, the bound weapon, along with the starting assault rifle. But, some people prefer rate of fire. So, if that's your thing, well, this doesn't really have it. It's only got a rate of fire of 12, like I covered earlier. But, it'll still get the job done, especially if you're only on normal difficulty. Now, once you get into some of the higher difficulties, well, it's going to start lagging, of course. But what do you expect from a weapon you get on normal? Especially when it's only level 3. What the hell did we prepare for? What did I... There is no room for defeat. It's a fight we must win. But... I requested backup from the Air Force. The heavy air support aircraft Whale with the 120mm cannon is heading this way. It will blow the giant insects away. Still out fighting them. this battle. We'll show you how strong we are. Got it! Artillery unit dispatching as requested. Self-propelled howitzer. Yeah, as you can see, I was just shooting across the map and took out most of the enemies without even really trying. So it's got its uses. This is actually a weapon I like to use for quite a bit of time. But hey, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these. I will be more than happy to make more. But uh, yeah, let me know if there's any specific weapon types you guys would like to see. And until then, I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.